Hey guys, welcome back to Razor C. Thought I'd shoot another video today talking about how to mount 22T 4.0 rear shocks on your 22T 3.0. So uh, I have my 3.0 here in front of us, got the laydown conversion, a bunch of other goodies. And I've only had this for about, oh, I don't know, nine or 10 months. And um, the 4.0 came out a couple of months ago. I uh, didn't really have the funds to pick one up. So uh, that was kind of a bummer. But um, the cool thing is a lot of the 4.0 parts will actually fit right onto your 3.0. So I thought I'd shoot a few videos basically talking about all the upgrades that you can make to your 3.0 to make it more 4.0 like. And so today I'm going to talk about the rear shocks. So it's a pretty simple modification. Um, one of the design goals of the 4.0 was basically to uh, improve the rear end. Um, so the 4.0, I'm sorry, the 3.0 actually had a tendency to wheelie a bit. Um, there's a lot of weight in the back. Um, the shocks are on the back. The shocks were real up high. You kind of have this heavy um, wing mount as well. And so under acceleration, even with this 13.5 motor, um, it would tend to wheelie a little bit. So a lot of the changes in the 4.0 are to address that. And so first off, uh, what you can do is actually mount the 4.0 shocks on your 3.0. And you basically need four different pieces. Um, number one, you need this rear shock tower which is made out of a stiff as uh, material. And then you need new shock bodies and new shock shafts. And then the last thing is uh, the 4.0 uses 1.7 millimeter pistons in the shocks themselves. So I actually happen to have the pistons, I actually happen to have these rear shocks which also are used on the 22.4. And so all I really had to do was buy this rear shock tower and these new shock shafts. So these new shock shafts are 55 millimeters. Uh, the shock bodies are 41 and a half millimeters. And so a quick comparison on the, the new 4.0 rear shock tower and then what the 3.0 looks like. So you can obviously see that the 3.0 is a lot, a lot taller. Actually, it's probably mounted more like this. Um, and the shocks mount a little bit higher up and a little more narrow. And um, this wing mount will also uh, mount the same as it did on the 3.0. So overall, um, quick comparison on these actual parts. This shock tower is obviously uh, shorter and wider. It's also five grams heavier than the old one, um, but the shocks actually weigh five grams less than the uh, old 3.0 shocks, mainly due to being shorter and um, less oil obviously uh, held in them. So a uh, quick little upgrade you can do. Another thing I actually did was run the 4.0 uh, rear camera box. So um, this actually has mounts for both uh, mounting shocks on the front of the arms and then also shocks on the rear of the arms and a couple different uh, half hole adjustments. Um, and so the 4.0 camera block will actually mount as well. You can do that with or without the rear shock mount. So anyways, that's pretty much it. The bolts, um, the parts mount right on. Uh, thanks to Frank Root and Wally RC from RC Tech for giving me the idea to do this and kind of confirming uh, what parts I needed. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put the parts number in the description below. So if you want a nice cheap little upgrade for your 3.0, you can actually uh, put these rear shocks on your 4. on your 3.0 and, uh, you know, get a little uh, better handling. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as always and uh, stay tuned for more videos soon. Thanks. Take care.